Yo, what up? Stonebeard. It's uh, been a while, but I got another level from uh, Super Ryu World to play with. Excuse the uh, child screaming in the background. Um, I want to just do a little walkthrough for you guys because I obviously spent a lot of time doing it. So check it out. Alrighty, you just want to do a uh, low spin jump there, sometimes with a re-grab depending on uh, your trajectory. And the next part is explained in the uh, text boxes above you. Um, just don't push left or right while you're in the air and you'll keep your speed. And throw the Koopa shell into the unethical hitbox. Okay, from here you want to do a throw straight up. And uh, before you catch it again, you want to do a spin jump to the right while holding grab and then re-release throw, aka grab, upwards um, while still in the spin jump to hit the switch straight up above you uh, to ride the spiny to the right. Alrighty, this part's pretty simple, obviously. Um, you're just trying to get across these spinies and through here, but don't get frustrated because I definitely lost a lot of time in this section, um, failed a lot. And uh, after that, we're going to do another uh, spin jump to the right, bounce off this spiny, land on the uh, falling platform, and get ready for the spring trick. Um, this spring is totally cursed. You want to try to line yourself up right here. Sometimes you're going to fall through it. Sometimes you're accidentally going to grab it. Just keep at it and uh, try to jump while the spring is in the air to send yourself over the top of this. Um, it's infuriating. Can't really say much more about it, but good luck. Alrighty, now pop off because you uh, made it to your midway. Uh, congrats. For a first trick in the second segment, you're going to want to uh, do the same throw upwards, spin jump, catch shell, throw shell upwards again into the spring while you uh, come over here and wait on this spiny. And another spiny is going to come from the right and we're going to move our way over there, balance on him until we are ready to uh, go through after the bomb blows up. Sweet. Um, you only really have like one more difficult trick. I like to jump to the right, regular jump, holding jump when I land on the Koopa. That'll send me high enough in the air to give me a second and you want to push B and Y at the same time while you land on the shell. And this will, if you do it correctly, will let you grab the shell and jump at the same time. So that's basically what you want to do. I like the way Ryu did this level too. He, when he lands on the platform on the right, he immediately turns around and just launches a shell like almost off the backboard, he called it. And that was way easier. So as you can see right here, there's a white block at the top of this um, vine that's growing. You don't want to hit Mario's hitbox into that box until the vine continues to grow. If you the vine continues to grow, it will delete that box, but if your head hits it, you won't be able to get through. I waited a long time there at the top just because I was uh, trying to set up my uh, arc to not die to something silly. And a couple times I would uh, land on that guy in a weird angle and he would kill me. So, uh, yeah, just take your time here. Everything's easy now. Just uh, do a little jump. Huck the uh, Goomba across the pit. He'll uh, hit the switch. And you'll move on to the next tiny little jump. Well, there you have it. You guys uh, beat Super Mario Maker with me. Um, I hope this helps anybody who's having some troubles getting into Kaizo. 
I uh, really enjoyed this level. It was probably actually one of my favorites, even though it definitely took me a long time. I actually took a little break for a while just because it was so difficult. Um, I love how easy you can see that you're getting better at the game, um, especially with this like first jump. So I just want to say don't get discouraged, have fun, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.